what is MVC? Well, MVC stands for Model View Controllers. Think of it as a way to organize our code when we are working on a full stack web application. We can compare it to separation of concerns in a way, which is basically a principle that designates what different part of a program does and which language or process will handle it. For example, our styling will be handled by our CSS and our layouts and content will be handled by our HTML. That's a general idea of our concerns being separated into different tasks and having different languages handle each task. Think of MVC as a car dealership. Imagine that you're a car dealership with many different cars in your inventory, which is the model. When a customer asks to see a car, you, the car dealer, or in this case, controller, look in your inventory, which is the model, retrieve the car, and present it to the customer, which is the view. So basically, in an MVC, a model is a representation of our data in an application, the view is the data being presented to a user, and the controller is accepting requests from the user and finds data from the model to update the view and present it to the user. So anytime a client loads up a web page or makes a request to the server, the browser sends the router the request, then the router sends that specific request to a controller who acts as a middleman. The controller takes the request, goes to its views, and asks it to render out some EJS, which will give us some HTML, and the controller will respond with that HTML to the client. Sometimes the views will need the controller to talk to the model to get some data from a database. Speaking of database, let's talk about Mongoose and MongoDB. First, let's understand what MongoDB is. So many developers like to keep our data and documents in a database called MongoDB. When building full stack web applications, we need a way to store our data to keep it more organized and access it easily. So we like to store all this data in MongoDB so we can call on it whenever we please. So then what's a mongoose? Well, this is a mongoose. Isn't it cute? Just kidding, this is Mongoose. But let me explain what Node is real quick. Node is a JavaScript environment built for creating traditional programs. Basically, it lets us run our JavaScript outside of a browser. So it lets us make all these cool applications while not having to always run our code in a browser. So in order for our Node servers to take advantage of our database from MongoDB, we make our lives easier and use a library called Mongoose. And Mongoose makes things more efficient, allowing us to write less code to access our data from MongoDB. So all in all, just think of tools like Mongoose, Node, even the concept of MVC itself as things we simply use as developers to make our lives much, much easier when developing full stack applications. I hope this lecture was helpful in any way and that you learned a thing or two, so have a wonderful day and until next time.